Hello, my name is Daniela Torres and I'm the Director of Global Marketing at Tomia. I'd like to welcome for today's session Dimitris Zoulis from Cosmote Greece. Hello, Daniela. I'm Dimitris Zoulis from uh, Cosmote Greece. I'm a project manager for the roaming services and international synergies. Nice to be here. Thank you for taking the time, Dimitris, to talk to us today. Just to set the stage and get the discussion going, could you please share with us um, some of Cosmote's recent developments um, when it comes to the roaming services that you've experienced over the last few years? Yeah, of course. Uh, it was uh, 2018 when the company uh, decided to appoint me responsible for the roaming services. Back then, the roaming services were not developed to their full potential and the legacy system that we had was uh, outdated, basically. The new platform that we implemented uh, gave us the opportunity to fulfill the needs of uh, commercial roaming, whether it was an idea, whether it was a new service or a future. But we also felt competent to adapt to new uh, roaming trends that were emerging. So it, it was a long journey, uh, but fortunately, the collaboration between Tommy and Cosmote was excellent and Tomia's expertise basically made the transition from the old platform to the new a lot easier. So it's really great to see in our partnership um, over the years how things have evolved. We know that at Cosmote uh, you put a lot of emphasis on digital innovation all in an effort to, uh, to drive and push for customer satisfaction um, and ensure of course um, a great user experience. I know that uh, there are things going on right now, but maybe if you could share a bit more about uh, Cosmotest plans for technology, innovation and implementation currently in your roaming systems. Yes, of course, Daniela, we're always busy. Now we're in a place where we're implementing various services according to our needs. Recent examples are the LTE steering for our uh, outbound roamers. Let me mention that it was this was something not possible with the old pl platform as it didn't support LTE technology. Also, uh, we have concluded the Mobility Manager service, which essentially will give us the tool to offer to our outbound roamers a customized roaming package that fits uh, customers' individual needs. Also, from the top of my mind, in the very near future, we intend to implement LTE support for the Welcome SMS uh, platform, uh, basically enabling us to send SMS uh, messages to our outbound roamers that are latched to pure LTE networks, as well as LTE support for the mobility management service that I mentioned a few minutes before. You know, in between the, those services, there are, of course, the yearly security packages, network optimization projects, uh, and other you know day-to-day -day activities that keep the services uninterrupted and 100% uh, available. So our hands are full all day. It's also great to hear, um, as I said, that uh, that a lot has been going on, um, and it seems as if this better platform that you described really enabled uh, the ability to adapt to new roaming changes or new roaming services um, that were emerging over the past few uh, years. We know that these trends have a significant impact on the telco industry as a whole, um, and particularly when it comes to uh, to roaming. In your view, can you share some of these recent trends or what do you think would be these key trends um, going forward? Uh, I want to be cautiously optimistic for the near future, um, as I believe that we will face a lot of uh, challenges. Firstly, uh, let me say that uh, I want to see the roaming traffic getting back to normal levels. Don't forget that the past two years people were not traveling due to the pandemic. Hopefully this year roaming traffic will reach pre-pandemic levels. And you know, as a matter of fact, I see this trend uh, for both inbound and outbound traffic. But remember, we're still in summer period uh, and I'm talking from Athens, Greece. That's why I'm, <laughs> I'm saying that we're still in summer period. And so far COVID has not been an issue. Uh, on the other hand, technology is moving forward, COVID or not, and different uh, roaming needs, uh, you know, are presented with the shutdown of the 2G and 3G networks. Voice over LTE is now uh, taking off. Operators like us, we don't want to lose continuity of service and coverage. Uh, so uh, this uh, situation um, needs to be adapted by the operators. Uh, there is also a big push on the IoT roaming traffic, and I think uh, the rise of the 5G accelerated that. And for many operators, IoT traffic is a black box. Uh, we don't know basically anything about it, which, um, you know, potentially with the right moves can result in new revenue streams. Uh, but operators need to be very careful on handling this traffic since um, 
you know, machine to machine traffic differs a lot from the standard roaming traffic and different, more suitable uh, charging models uh, need to be applied. Last uh, but not least, 5G is the key word for the way forward. This will keep us busy for the next few years. Um, you know, to sum up, uh, the telecom industry will face uh, new opportunities and challenges that uh, will, be hard, will be hard to handle, but uh, can translate to new revenue streams for the companies and customer satisfaction. So you mentioned quite a few buzzwords there, and I think that our post-COVID, as you mentioned, a lot of these new technologies have accelerated. Um, new use cases have been also um, derived uh, with the introduction of new technologies. So 2G, 3G network shutdowns, uh, Volti roaming, 5G implementation, um, and as you said, uh, Internet of Things. How do you see um, the market being impacted by these uh, or the introduction of these new services? You know, all internet users are looking for higher speeds. So innovations like 5G are a must for all operators. Um, but there are external factors that we need uh, to consider. I'm hearing all the time about the chipset shortage that we will face um, next year. Uh, you know, the, this, so these uh, chipsets are used in 5G handsets. Will this reduce the 5G subscribers? It remains to be seen. We don't know yet. Um, operators will look for new revenue streams in the Internet of uh, Things, in the IoT traffic. But handling new agreements with different charging models on top of the existing roaming agreements will sure be a challenge for the operators. Um, and also, security is a hot topic. With new uh, technology, we have new security concerns and challenges because operators will have more access to data um, in order to offer personalized and customized services. So this will be a very hot topic for the years to come. Um, as I said, there are a lot of external factors, but let's hope everyone uh, that COVID will not be an issue in the years to come. Oh, absolutely. I, uh, I fully second that. And I also think that, as you said, a lot of new challenges will definitely um, uh, support or help uh, generate additional use cases and new revenue streams for operators. And it's also very interesting to hear how all of these components come together to, uh, to the big picture. You know, Daniela, the rebound from the pandemic will make a distinct imprint on the telecoms industry um, in the years to come, affecting service distribution device availability and consumer data consumption uh, habits and based on these three pillars operators will need to be more vigilant flexible monitor their networks better close and closely and adapt to consumer needs and provide personalized and customized uh, services i think this is the future this won't be easy uh, for the operators it, it adds a lot of complexity but on the other hand, could drive innovation um, and faster rollout on areas that previously may have not been on, the, on, on our top priorities. And I mean, the operator's top priorities. And in the end, could drive uh, to new revenue streams and customer satisfaction. So definitely it seems as if challenging times uh, can definitely bring out uh, new opportunities and new innovations. Uh, Demetrius, it's been a pleasure Thank you so much for taking the time to share your insights, your personal experience and expertise on these topics. Um, and we do look forward to our increased partnership in the years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daniela. It was a pleasure to talk to you.